like you guys don't even understand. Like, and like it's not even it's not even such a big deal. Like it's just one person. You know what I mean? So obviously, I was gonna watch this four part document. I wish it was four parts. It's three parts. Obviously, I was gonna watch it. Yes, we're living the Jeffree Star life. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. And at first, I was really fascinated by oh, we're gonna get a new palette that I'll never be able to afford because I've been a Jeffree Star stan since like six, seven years, and I could never afford a palette because um I'm broke as hell. Honestly, guys, I feel like. You know, if you've been a stan for like six, seven years and you could never afford their makeup, I just feel like that is God testing you on another level. Like, I just feel like God is testing me to be poor. Like, I'm not, this is not even a comparison to like someone who lives in a really, 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 really poor area with no food, no water, no sanitation. Like, I'm privileged to have that, but like, I want to be privileged to own a Jeffree Star palette. Like, that's the kind of privilege that I want. And I feel like God has me on a place where he wants to test my faith and love towards him with how poor I am. <laughs> like, psychedelic is out, skincare is out, and I've never been able to afford freaking Jeffree Star. But guys, it's not, it's, it's just bad. I've saved up before, but I couldn't because shipping. Anyway, um, yeah, even the conspiracy. I, I was so sad. I watched everything from front, every series. I've everything I've watched. Anyway, guys, this is not a this is not this is not a a video about how God is testing my faith by making me poor and not able to you know own a Jeffree Star palette. Um. Or even Shane Dawson Mus, or even Mus merch, <laughs> or even my own merch. <laughs> um, this is a burping video. That's what it is. <sighs> uh. <sighs> Ooh. Don't cancel me. That that was my freaking theory. The palette's gonna come out episode three, and. The palette's name was gonna be canceled. Literally, you know how the Ghostbusters logo is? Like, literally, it was gonna be canceled with um, Doomsday. Like, like the pig, <laughs> not the pig, but like the, the actual triangle of conspiracy, but then just a circle with a cross through it, like canceled, you know? Cause everybody got canceled when it hit like the beauty community was just shook it never just never recovered i'm out here trying to recover it but it takes some time when you don't have money to get a jeffree star palette and everybody just clicks on your video when you say jeffree star so side note i actually want to see how many of you click because <laughs> jeffree says we don't care we don't care guys they're not gonna bring out a palette i'm sorry if i'm spoiling it psychedelics out However, if you get your hands on the palettes that Jeffrey released since Conspiracy, you might get Doomsday. <laughs> um, this video is going nowhere. What I thought was gonna happen was part three was gonna be the reveal that Doomsday is actually Psychedelic Circus. And yeah, Psychedelic Circus was not even there. Doomsday was freaking... Well... I'm okay. Um... This is so good. <clears throat> it's a melon duo. Well, watermelon and sweet melon. I don't know if anyone knows. Sweet melon is like my favorite fruit in the entire world. Like, entire, entire world. 
fruit for the art. That guy that does the the smoldering eye look and the yeah, that shit. I do want to talk about why Jeffrey cannot leave YouTube. I do want to talk about it, but there's so many other things that I'm so freaking excited. Did this bed just move? I don't want to move my bed because then I keep on moving my bed. It's so stupid, but it's actually more comfortable this way. Anyway, <sighs> guys, I don't want Jeffrey to leave YouTube, but um, we're we're gonna get that. We're gonna get to that in a second. And if this video makes it up before Rich Lux talks about it, work. Where's the freaking fan? Where's my fan? I got a fan, and I don't know where it is. <sighs> hi guys, welcome. <laughs> Why did I feel like Shane Dawson right now? Jane Dawson's like, hi guys. Uh, I guess it's because I've been watching Rylan and Rylan vlogs. And I've been watching the, I've been watching um, long form video content, you guys. I've been watching that. It really helps stimulate me mentally, emotionally, and physically, especially when it comes to me having to work, um, study, whatever I do. You know, it can play in the background and I don't have to feel alone, especially if it's someone that I've always admired, someone that makes me feel at home, someone that makes me feel loved and not alone. And one of those people were Jeffree Star. <laughs> and so I'm making this video. So even the people that have no idea who Jeffree Star is, I'm from a very, very small town, so maybe they won't know who you are. Um, like, literally, Google me if you want Mossel Bay, South Africa. <laughs> like, just, just try. Very, very small town. And so I really... When I got into beauty, obviously, I started admiring Jeffrey. I think I started knowing Jeffrey, and then I, Jeffrey introduced me to Shane, and then Shane introduced me to Rylan, Rylan introduced me to Morgan, or Morgan introduced me to Shane introduced oh, this is not the video for that. I guess I am, you know, going through the motions because I want to cry. But, um, so, I don't know why I'm like, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying not to lick my lips as much because my lips are so dry. So yeah, my expect my expectations for this series was not matched at all. Like everything that I thought of, every my theory, my conspiracy, my allegedly, I was even with Rich Lux. We were just like, ooh, the psych psychedelic circus is the freaking conspiracy part two it wasn't and and rich rich, rich was like well jeffrey is gonna come up with a palette and is isn't like what's gonna happen like guys i'm thankful at the way you responded to literally everything everything that the drama community girl um wanted to i guess get a reaction out of you of like all of that was handled with so much grace and poise and pizzazz and that's what I love about you. you you answered okay this is why Maddie's not here this is why the palette's not here this is when like all the timelines was just like wow it was a brush of a breath a brush a breath of fresh air which I love as a fan and as not a consumer just yet <laughs> I want to say consumer so bad. I consume videos. Can I just be a consumer of videos, please? And then if God, you know, like, as I say, God is testing my faith with me for not being able to purchase JSC. Um, but guys, let me talk about Jeffrey leaving um, YouTube. It's sad. I'm not gonna lie. And if I cry... I'm gonna cry and if my parents see that I'm crying on, on social media over someone that they have no idea exists then it's fine if my friends loved ones see it it's fine because I was one of those 800 people that was watching and when he was like nobody cares anymore I was like I care if you check your dms you'll see what smells like it's burning It smells like it's burning and I have a tendency to leave stuff on so I just need to make sure um yeah like I was one of those 800 people 800,000 people that watch and I was just like rich lux and I wish for 800,000 subscribers <laughs> like we wish bruh. we wish bro we wish we wish and um yeah it was
was like I understood though. I understood at the back end of it. Um watching the final episode, I understood. Like it's just it's just not worth it anymore. Especially if you're not a con if if like if not a content Jeffrey Star obviously was a content creator, he was great at it. He did so many things, he did everything. So like what is there left to do? Make a make make a ballot with me. <laughs> I oh I predicted I actually I actually manifested um was it royal blood um the crown palette i i call it the crown palette i actually man manifested that palette in 2020 i really just wanted to say that because on my vision board i can show it to you guys on my vision board i wanted to collaborate with jeffree star and bring out like a crown palette because i was really into pageantry and i and i thought i was going to be miss universe so you know that was one of the things that i wanted to do for charity maybe one of the other, other miss universes can do that um like palette for charity which is great oh uh, yeah and it hurt because i was like humble much and mr diva does not need to be humble he worked his freaking behind off he can leave youtube because for him what is 800,000 subscribers it's nothing compared to the 30 million he used to get and i get it but um to me, it's like, just the delivery could have been a little better. Like, hey guys, this is gonna be my last video on YouTube. I thank you for your comments. Even the ones, even the comments that I've never seen. Like, I've been a fan for so long, Jeffree Star has never seen me be a fan. You know what I mean? Like, even the, the silent fans that are fans that you have no idea exist. Like, it's those types of people that I just absolutely love and I just absolutely feel for them. And that's why I'm here and I'm talking because I know that nobody might click on this video. <sighs> Jeffree Star is a boss. B I T C H. After Conspiracy, you know how many palettes he came out with? That's why I stand Jeffree Star. His work ethic, his grace, his humility, his apologeticness, his accountability, his life, his career, his lifestyle. Even though you want to go live on boulders, <laughs> I came from boulders. I used to sit on rocks. I want the lights. I want the city lights. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I want the city light lifestyle. It's just, I'm tired of sitting on rocks. I want to sit on a Louis Vuitton outside chair. <laughs> I want them too much. Y'all cannot give those type of... Anyway, guys, what did I want to say? Thank you, Jeffree Star, for your contribution to my education, my inspiration, my delegation my because after 2020 i said to a lot of friends you you do not like drama getting made me assess so many friendships like so many friendships in my life and i get it jeffree star is isolated he's i almost say colorado but he's in wyoming shout out wyona um and he could not be more happier. Like, I would be happy raising 150 yaks with, like, I need, sp like, that's the space that I want, <laughs> I want to look over and just like, I want to see nothing for miles and miles and miles and miles. Thousand miles. Dun -dun 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 I want to see nothing for dun -dun 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 Honestly. And you know, we su we should we support, we stand, we love, we love, but we're definitely gonna miss you, Jeffrey. We're definitely gonna miss you. I do want to say though that I one still appreciate long form content, Jeffrey. Um, if you guys want me to talk about where Jeffrey actually failed as a channel, comment down below because even if I don't have the most extravagant views, I can still see where people are kind of making mistakes because. He could have, he, he was gone so long, of course he was gonna compete with his algorithm again. Like it wasn't gonna be that great. But where he actually made a mistake was, yeah, com comment down below if you, want me, if you want to see that. Cause obviously I am an outsider. I can see I've followed his channel for like six, seven years now. Six, seven years is a freaking long time to be a fan and to not be relevant when it comes to, hey, I'm leaving. I appreciate you. 
well, <laughs> you've never bought one of his palettes, so what have you contributed to his life anyway besides clicking a freaking video? <laughs> God, I needed to take a thumbnail. Why do I always forget to take thumbnails? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not even playing about this clickbait, guys. <laughs> You guys don't even understand. Like, Nikki's like this competitive. Like, you guys don't even understand. Like, yeah, like there was, like there was so much, and like it's not even, it's not even such a big deal. Like, it's just one person. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Vlogmas is coming. <clears throat> Follow for more. We're here. We're lit. 25 days of vlogmas. Where is the cat? Oh. Shout out to Igen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for today's video. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm Rylan Adam. <laughs> Manny MUA is acting like nothing happened, and James Charles. Loki ended up being shady after all, and Tati is like, I'm a 40 year old that got dragged into 30 year old stuff and 20 year old stuff. Cute. Shout out Kim Kardashian. I don't know where. <laughs>